This is the greater Wajima city region. It is a rural part of Japan. It is very close to where the epicenter of that terrible earthquake was on New Year's Day. It is one of the worst affected areas. Uh, darkness has fallen now, but there is no rest at all where we are now. If you can see a little bit, this is a huge rescue hub uh, that is based about 15 kilometers away from Wajima city center itself. Uh, there has been tens and tens and uh, dozens of rescue workers in and out of here, trucks continually coming by. A couple of the uh, workers we spoke to were telling us about the terrible work they've had to do uh, in recent days. Apparently now it is less about rescuing people who are alive and trapped and more about cutting dead bodies out of houses. But the conditions they are working in are desperately difficult. It is cold, it's been raining all day, and the roads around here are largely impassable really we were trying to get to Wajima city center itself just completely impossible huge trees uh, blocking the roads massive fissures uh, in the concrete uh, without a sort of a major army truck just almost impossible to make that journey uh, and meanwhile the people in this region continue to suffer village after village after village we have passed along this road today flattened houses just completely obliterated a lot of them made of very traditional materials wood and clay uh, and these type of buildings very old very traditional they just stood no chance really against the strength of the quake that hit here and look things aren't over as we've been working here today a number of times we've heard this sort of rumbling felt the ground trembling beneath our feet uh, have had to move away from buildings there's been earthquake alerts coming through to our phones uh, a sense that there's no way that this uh, region this area has stabilized yet uh, and the difficulties the struggles of the people here continue some questions beginning to be asked about help uh, how quickly it's coming, whether it's enough. Uh, it's obviously incredibly logistically difficult uh, for the government and others to get help there. Um, there's some suggestions that much of it is now going in by sea or by air because of those blocked roads. Uh, but look, an incredibly difficult couple of days ahead uh, for the people who live in this region.